How is everyone doing? I was having a look at the chat when I was setting up and I saw that many people were from literally every country. <laughs> I think we managed to get nearly every country. I saw the first person was from Romania. Welcome Romelia, how are you? <laughs> Carolina from Argentina. Mahmoud from Libya. We've got Morocco in the house. We've got Italy in the house. We got loads of India in the house as well. Welcome from Pakistan. Welcome Egypt, Italy, Italy again. <laughs> Belarus. Welcome Olga from Belarus, Bangladesh. You know, I have quite a lot of followers from Bangladesh. I'm so surprised. <laughs> I don't know how you all found my channel in Bangladesh, but I'm happy you're here. <laughs> From Poland, welcome, 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 Algeria, from North Korea, <laughs> wow, you all should be careful, <laughs> I doubt they're actually watching from North Korea, <laughs> yeah, from Russia, have I missed anyone, from Latvia, welcome, you might be the only Latvian, I haven't seen any other Latvians, Sudan, France, uh, Algeria, Peru, welcome. Did I miss any? Did I miss any countries? From Mars, wow. <laughs> How are you getting such good internet there? <laughs> There's not even electricity on Mars. <laughs> Technology these days. We celebrate Christmas on the 7th of January. Nice. Do you, um, uh, Mariam, do you celebrate, um, Oh my goodness, what's it called? Is it Epiphany? I think it's called Epiphany in some countries. Because we don't celebrate it in the UK, so I'm, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> but one of my students said, oh yeah, it's Epiphany. But that might just be a literal translation from that language. I, I don't know. But I guess it's that. <laughs> Hola, ma como estas? That's Spanish. <laughs> I'm very well, thank you. Estoy muy bien. Hi Emmett, so my question is, how to sound more natural on speaking? Um, well, Ali, I'm not gonna do any pronunciation related questions today. I know my channel's pronunciation with Emma, but today we're just gonna focus on uh, Christmas related topics. Um, we're gonna focus mostly on vocabulary and listening today. We're going to be doing some riddles. Does anyone know what a riddle is? I'll write it in the chat. This is a riddle, okay? If you're not sure what it is, then have a look online very quickly. And then today's lesson, live stream, will become really clear what we're going to do. I also have a cup of tea ready. I still have the tea bag inside as well. <laughs> you're from Spain, Lacan. Welcome. No one said Spain earlier. I'm quite surprised because I have quite a few uh, Spanish people... Uh, following me. <laughs> Welcome, Merry Christmas. Your first native to speaker, I've heard you. I've. Well, let me say that again, Romelia. <laughs> you are the first native speaker I heard saying ought to. I was so frustrated to have to learn a modal structure that almost nobody used. <laughs> I use it quite a lot. I ought to. Some people say, oh, it's really formal if you say ought to, but I don't think it is, especially in the UK, we use ought to quite a bit. Kind of depends, really. It really does depend. And I mean, depend on the person, uh, not on formality. What's my accent? So my accent's a bit of a mix of everything, I'll be honest. I cannot say it is purely RP, it is purely Yorkshire. But um, I am from York originally, so my accent has features of Yorkshire in there. <laughs> and um, one example of that is saying path instead of path, um, grass instead of grass, that sort of stuff. Sorry, I just punched my microphone. Um, but I do, uh, I do focus on teaching modern RP, if that makes sense. So not RP, but like a mixture. So modern RP and uh, Yorkshire. <laughs> Your accent's gorgeous. Thank you. It's funny, a lot of native speakers compliment my accent. Like, where are you from? I can't tell. So I will play the guessing game with them. And I say to them, well, can you guess where I'm from? And a lot of native speakers uh, from England, I mean, think that I'm not from England <laughs> because my accent is so mixed. 
<laughs> which is so weird. Happy Christmas in advance. Thank you, Sim. Uh, I'm so, by the way, if I shorten your name, it's because I'm so used to shortening names on Twitch, okay? So like, people come with crazy long names on Twitch and I'm like, oh, thanks, so, thanks, Anna, thanks, Sim. <laughs> and I just keep it really short. So do we have any questions before we start uh, some riddles today? Does everyone know what a riddle is? You speak clearly. Thank you very much. You're looking tired. You know, that's really rude to say in, in England. If you say to someone, you look tired when they are not tired, it's really rude to say. I just want, I just wanted to point that out because <laughs> I'm not tired, but it, it's very rude to say because it means you're basically saying you look terrible. That's what you're saying to someone, but no, just something to bear in mind, a cultural thing. <laughs> Ah, oh, my dad's here! Hello, dad! Can everyone in the chat say hello to my dad? <laughs> say, hi, Emma's dad! <laughs> you love the Christmas background. Thank you very much, Francesca! Yeah, we will talk about some, like, tree vocabulary in a moment. Don't worry, it's not gonna be super teachery today. Do you speak Spanish? Yes, I do, Eduardo. Yes, I do. Buenos dias desde Peru. Oh, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas to Peru! <laughs> I like the Yorkshire accent. Yeah, my, mine is not a strong one at all. Um, but there's definitely um, what we call in English a twang. I'll write it down for you. I definitely have a twang and it means that there's like a little bit of an accent. <laughs> Hi, Emma's dad. Hi, dad! What are you doing today, dad? <laughs> You have an amazing daughter. You see there, dad? You know my dad? <laughs> let, me, let, let me tell you something funny, guys. My dad uh, calls me his favorite daughter, <laughs> but he only has one. <laughs> I, there's me, and then I have two brothers, um, but I think I'm definitely the favorite child. Am I not, dad? Am I the f I'm not just the favorite daughter, but am I also the favorite child? <laughs> Please, can you tell us how to watch your videos in order? There's no order. There's no order. If you're looking for structure and order, then I highly recommend my pronunciation course because everything is very structured and in order that way. I'll talk about it later, but um, it's definitely not the focus of today as my online course. I'll talk about that next week, <laughs> but I'm... Um, yeah, more interested in doing Christmassy fun stuff with you guys today. <laughs> I like it how my dad's super quiet in the chat. He's not said anything. <laughs> like, am I the favorite child? And he's just gone. He's not replied. He's not said anything. You have to be proud of your son. She's proud of your daughter. <laughs> a son is for a, a boy. <laughs> Do you speak Arabic? I don't. No, no. But when I was deciding which language to learn next, um, in the end I chose Japanese, but uh, Arabic was one of the languages that I was uh, going to choose, and then I decided not to do Arabic. For now, but maybe in the future. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, Islam. Grateful to you for raising such an excellent teacher. Well done, Dad. Let's all have a drink to my dad. <laughs> because without him, I would not be here today. <laughs> the Christmas tree. Thank you very much, Atsuko. Yes. Um, it is not the most beautifully decorated tree, I must say. <laughs> but we will talk about that in a moment. We'll talk about the tree in a moment. <laughs> my dad getting loads of love in the chat. That's so nice. <laughs> Tell us your zodiac. I am a Cancerian. I was born in Ju I was gonna say June. <laughs> I don't even know when my birth is. I was born in July. Um, so yes, I am a Cancerian. Apparently I'm emotional, I'm sensitive, I cry a lot, and I'm sentimental. <laughs> I think I think that's about right. And apparently Cancerians are a little bit crazy as well. <laughs> They're like one of the crazy 
zodiacs, but I, I don't know much, I'll be honest. I, I don't 100% believe in zodiacs. <laughs> Can you tell us the difference between the two? I'm not going to talk about pronunciation today, as I've already said. I'm not focusing on it today. We're just going to focus on Christmas. You look like Argentinian Spanish dialect would suit you. <laughs> is, that, is that a compliment or is that an insult or something? I'm going to take it as a compliment because Argentinian Spanish sounds so nice. You know what? I get quite a, a few questions, not all the time, it sounds like people always ask me this question, but I, I get asked quite frequently when I speak Spanish and stuff, um, whether, like, I have a, how do I put it, like, whether I have a favourite accent or not, um, because I learnt Spanish from Spain, and I just kind of speak like a standard Spanish, if that makes sense. <laughs> so, I... Um, it was a video suggestion, was it? I've already covered it, so... <laughs> don't, don't get offended about it. Don't get offended. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, a lot of people ask, like, um, what's your preferred uh, Spanish accent? For, for me, like, I learned Spanish in Spain and I have a kind of standard... I'm not saying my, my Spanish accent is standard, but that's the one I learned. Um, and it's the one I focused on. But when I hear Argentinian Spanish and Uruguayan Spanish, um, it sounds so nice. The accent is like so soft, like shh, 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 shh. <laughs> It sounds so nice. I really like it. It's like my, my favorite accent. <laughs> What's Merry Christmas in Japanese? Are there any Japanese speakers here? I saw that uh, there were a few Japanese people here that I know. I've been looking at the chat. <laughs> um, write it in the in, in the chat. What plans do I have for Christmas? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. I don't want to do anything. No work. No 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 nothing. <laughs> You're not teaching anything today. I am Ashmia. Ashma. I Ash uh, Ashima. Sorry, <laughs> Ashima. I am. But usually, I take it you're not familiar with my live streams, right? You know, usually people when they come to my live streams and they're brand new, they are not used to the chatty bit at the beginning. But when I do my live streams. I have at least half an hour of chat. Half an hour of chat. Um, because people have lots of questions. Like, you know, where are you from? What do you do? And then I start with the with the actual lesson. So yes, you can always go, grab a cup of tea, come back. You know, no one's holding you here. No one's forcing you. <laughs> Merry Christmas, you. <laughs> there we are dad that's how you say Merry Christmas that's how you say Merry Christmas in Japanese Merry Christmas Merry, Merry so you lengthen the like Merry Christmas <laughs> yeah exactly we would say Merry Christmas <laughs> oh thank you Malik Hia, Hia, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. I'm gonna go Twitch style on you here and I'm just gonna say Malik. I'm gonna cut your name. <laughs> Thank you, Malik. Thank you very much. Uh, do you promise anything to do or not to do after the new year? This is a good question because um, we have this thing in English called a New Year's resolution. Okay, so a New Year's resolution, if you're not sure, is essentially like a goal that you set yourself for the year. So many people say, ah, this year I'm going to lose, uh, I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to, I don't know, whatever. Um, my goal for this year, for 2021, was to learn Japanese. Of course, not be fluent, <laughs> but learn Japanese. Um, and learn how to boulder, like learn how to climb. Um, I completed my uh, boulder, what was it? Um, my top rope climbing course. 
So I can now belay climbers. Uh, I can now climb. Um, and I was terrified of this at first. If you don't know what bouldering is, uh, top rope climbing, then you can Google <laughs> and take a look. But um, it's basically like a wall with different colored stones and you climb up. And I was terrified of this at the beginning. And then as time went on, I did a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. And um, I became more and more confident. So yes. Have I seen Spider-Man? No. Nope, nope. I'm not a big fan, I'll be honest. I'm not a big fan of, of like Marvel and DC films. They're always the same. Just a different superhero, you know? It, they're all the same. Hmm. Ah, the good cup of tea. Anyway, guys, it is 20 past. So that is about time we should get started with some riddles. <laughs> Uh, we've had enough chat. If I've missed any questions, then feel free to put them in the chat. Because honestly, there are so many uh, messages that I cannot always read them all. Am I good at ropes? Like, am I good at rope climbing? Like, bee laying? I think I'm okay. I've not killed anyone. <laughs> I've not killed anyone or hurt myself. Spider-Man would be good at bouldering. Yes, Dad. Spider-Man would be very good at bouldering. Idea. Spider Man is like so. <laughs> well, that you can go see the Spider Man film then. I'm not bothered. <laughs> My favorite movie. I'll be honest, I don't really have a favorite film. Um, I don't really have the patience to watch a film. I get quite bored. <laughs> So I, I don't end up watching it. Um, I tell you something though, there there are quite a few like anime films that I really enjoy. Um, and I will happily watch them over and over again. Um, I absolutely love Spirited Away. I don't know what it's called in, in Japanese actually. Spirited Away in Japanese. It's probably gonna be like all in kanji and I'm not gonna understand anything. Spirited away. Ah, kam, kami ka, kami, kami kakushi, kami kakushi, in Japanese. I said that so English. <laughs> kami ka, kam, kami, kami kakushi. <laughs> but in English we call it um, spirit. Ah, oh, no, no, sorry, that's something else. No, 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 no. Uh. Chihiro no Kamikakushi. That's the name. And the film is called Spirited Away. I really like this film. Where's the chat? This one. It's a Japanese film. It's an anime, basically. <laughs> um, I like that. I really liked... Um, oh my goodness. There's a really, really famous one. Uh, is it your name? Is it like Kimi... Kimi something something? Kimi no na Hmm. Let me find it. I really like your name. Again, this is also Japanese. Um mm -mm -mm -mm. I can't remember the Japanese name though. It's like Kimi something with Kimi. <laughs> I don't remember the name. In Japanese. What is the name? Kimi. Kimi no Nawa. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, Kimi no Nawa. <laughs> That's, yeah, I really like that one as well. It, it, it made me feel really sad. There was another one I liked. It's not my favorite, but it made me cry. Is, um, he's got the weirdest name. Um, it's called I Want to Eat Your Pancreas. <laughs> and it's really, so... Again, it's called Kimi no Suizo wo Tabetai. Hmm. Um, but yeah, we call it I Want to Eat Your Pancreas in English. Weirdest name. The weirdest name. But when you actually watch the film, the title goes from sounding really weird to like, oh, that's really romantic. <laughs> it's so weird. 
In Spanish, we call it El Viaje de... Ch yeah, 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 you do in Spanish. You call it, like, the journey. <laughs> the adventure. Yeah. Happy birthday to Evelyn! Oh, well, happy birthday. <laughs> you wonderful teacher. Thank you very much. Pancreas, you're supposed to be vegetarian. I know! But I didn't eat the pancreas. If you watch the film... I, I don't I don't want to explain more about the film because really if I tell you the meaning of the title it kind of ruins the film a little bit so yeah my favorite book I don't have a favorite book I'll be honest I don't read as much as I would like to anyway guys enough chit chat let us begin with the riddles okay so what I'm going to do is say a riddle. These are all terrible riddles, by the way, okay? I will say a riddle and I'd like you to write in the chat what you think the answer to the riddle is, all right? And while I'm waiting, I will answer questions in the chat, all right? <laughs> so I won't ignore the chat. So our first riddle, I will write it in the chat, okay? So these are found in the Harry Potter books and in Lord of the Rings too. They help make Christmas gifts that Santa brings to you. What are they? Okay, so I'd like you to write in the chat what you think they are. There is a delay, quite a big delay by like 10 seconds on YouTube. So if you write all your answers <laughs> and I'm a bit slow responding, that is why, um, that is why, just explaining. You are, mm, okay, minor kind of? Yes, that's it, yeah, for learner's sushi. Is that for learner, for learn sushi? <laughs> yeah, for learn sushi, that's it, an elf. Yeah, an elf. Dobby, <laughs> it's not Dobby. <laughs> no, Dobby isn't in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> but Dobby is an elf, yeah, but an elf. So an elf is basically uh, a little helper of Santa's. So you got Santa or Santa Claus, and then you got the elf, the elves that help him. So elf is singular and elves is plural. So careful, it changes. Kind of like wolf and wolves or half and halves. Like we change it from an F to a V. Dobby is here. <laughs> I see we've got Potter fans. We've got Potter fans here. Okay. The next one. This one is a bit of a tricky one, I think. If you know about this, I'll be very impressed. Okay. Mine is, oh, it's like, next riddle. Give me the next riddle. <laughs> I am here for riddles only. Open me every day for something that can't be beat. Behind each of the doors, you will discover a tasty treat. What am I? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, thanks, Huda. What do you think? Hmm. I'm just gonna sip my tea. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, this isn't like um, English tea. This is a Lady Grey tea. If anyone likes tea and oranges, I recommend this tea. <laughs> Lady Grey. I guess it's Voldemort's novel. <laughs> it's not Dobby! <laughs> no! It's not a fridge. It's not a fridge. So a refrigerator is the long word, but fridge is shortened down. Normally Americans use refrigerator, but in the UK we say fridge. I don't think I've ever said refrigerator in my life apart from like when I'm teaching. <laughs> I never say, oh, it's in the refrigerator. Oh, that sounds very, very American. It's in the refrigerator. <laughs> Prefer coffee. I like coffee too. It's not Adele. No. <laughs> Dad, you're terrible at this. You need to leave. You need to leave right now. <laughs> okay, I will say the riddle again. Open me every day for something that can't be beat. 
behind each of the doors you will discover a tasty treat. What am I? It's not hope. It's it's not as deep as like hope, love, desire. It it is literally an object. <laughs> and I have one here. How many languages do you have? Do you mean do you mean how many languages do I speak? Ah, someone's got it. Well done, Dad. It's an advent calendar. <laughs> well done as well, Eduardo. Where are you from, Emma? It's not Emma. A lot of people call me Emma with an I. <laughs> I guess in some languages my name is Emma. But I'm from England. <laughs> I'm your biggest fan. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. It is an advent calendar. Okay. So, <coughs> let me explain what an advent calendar is because, um... This is something that might be new for a lot of people, okay? <laughs> so, this is an advent calendar. This is just a, a, a Galaxy one. Galaxy is a brand of chocolate in the UK. Really famous brand. Uh, so, it can be any any brand of chocolate, okay? This is just the name of the brand. Uh, advent calendar at the top, as you can see. And behind, what you'll see are doors. And the doors have numbers on them okay so you see like 21 you see uh 16 you see 19 and so on okay and all of these basically are to be opened on the day that corresponds to the number <laughs> that's it so for example if it is the first of december so you start your advent calendar on the first of december on the 1st of December, you look for door number one. Sometimes you can get advent calendars in order, whereas like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, did a little, all the way to 25, because the 25th is Christmas day, right? And we are counting down to Christmas day. So you start from number one. Number one here was this one. <laughs> so behind you get a little picture and in some really rubbish advent calendars, you get nothing except a picture. Okay, you just get a picture. There's nothing inside. But um, usually, with uh, normal ones, <laughs> um, you get some chocolate inside. So here, I'll show you what I mean. So I didn't open, you can see here, the 23rd. Yeah, the 23rd and the 24th. Okay, this one for some reason only stops at 24. It doesn't give you a chocolate on Christmas Day, which is very sad. <laughs> but yeah, you got 23. Yeah, so I'll show you. This was for yesterday. So this should have been opened yesterday. So I open it like this. Yeah, and then you got some foil. You tear the foil, just poke it. And inside is some chocolate. That's it. And then you eat the chocolate. A chocolate every day. And this one looks like this. <laughs> I think it's meant to be a Christmas pudding. <laughs> but yes, that's it. <laughs> and I will open this one later. <laughs> and sorry, now I'm eating a chocolate. <laughs> But we do this, um... Okay, I'm eating the chocolate. Sorry, I really hate talking. Talking and eating at the same time. Um... This is something that's more popular with children. So it tends to be children who have this. But adults also have it as well. And you get different kinds, but yes, it's something new for a lot of people. Like Mina said, I had no idea about advent calendars until now. <laughs> advent, by definition, someone asked me what advent means. Mm, it's like the build up to sort of a Christmas or something. What is advent? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, it's giving me a really long definition. Give me a second. 
Yeah, in the Christian church calendar, the period of preparation for the celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ at Christmas and also of preparation for the second coming of Christ. There you are. <laughs> That's Advent. So it's basically the days leading up to Christmas. Yes, how many languages do you speak? It's a difficult question for me to ask, Hussein. Honestly, but it's a difficult question for me to answer. Easy to ask, <laughs> difficult to answer. Um, I speak, uh, I speak Spanish to a comfortable level. Like you can put me in a tiny village in Spain and I will understand and I can communicate. Um, I can speak Spanish with some level of um, fluidity, but um, I wouldn't say that I'm fluent. I'm not like a native and I don't want to be like a native in Spanish, <laughs> but I, uh, I can, have conversations in Spanish, no problems. Um, but everything else, um, right now I'm learning Japanese. I only started in January, so it's very, very basic right now. Um, in the past, I used to study Catalan. I used to study French, German. Um, I did sign language at university. I did Portuguese as well um, in preparation for going to Brazil. So, I learned that. Yep, there are a few languages. <laughs> I've maybe even missed one or two, <laughs> but I think those are all of them. Oh, thank you, Alejandro. Can't live without your podcasts. <laughs> yeah, I was actually gonna record a podcast today, but I don't know if I'll have the time. I think I'll have to leave it until next year because quite honestly, I need a break. <laughs> But yeah, an advent calendar was the answer to the to the last riddle for someone who asked. An advent calendar like this. Okay, should we do another one? You place a skirt around my bottom once I've been chopped. So to chop, to cut, yeah. On the other end, a star or angel is how I get topped. What am I? What am I? I turned 13 a few days ago. Oh, Merry Christmas. Oh, hold on. I just got a text message. What was this? What was this? Sorry, I don't usually te check my uh, text during live streams, but <laughs> it's from my mum. Uh, okay. No, that's fine. Sorry, she sent me, um, uh... She sent me a, a Christmas present <laughs> and I need to make sure I can hear the door and she said it will arrive between half past three and half past four or something. So we've got time. It won't come during the stream, I hope. What do you think? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I didn't put the text in. Uh, sorry, Jared. <laughs> Where is it? Here. You place a skirt around my bottom once I've been chopped. On the other end, a star or angel is how I get topped. What am I? What am I? Any idea? <laughs> Do you love Arabic? I don't know anything about Arabic to say if I love or hate it. I mean, I don't think there's any language I love, I'll be honest. There are languages that I find more intriguing, personally speaking, um, that I want to learn in the future. Yes, but you don't have someone. I knew my dad uh, wouldn't be happy about me mentioning uh, that. <laughs> yeah, a Christmas tree. Exactly, it is a Christmas tree. So a Christmas tree is this. <laughs> so, um, what we tend to do uh, about usually like 12 days before Christmas, some people do it earlier, some people do it later, but let's say like two weeks before Christmas, people uh, will put up, so some verbs here, useful vocabulary, because many of my students say, oh, I put the tree, yeah, but we actually say to put up the tree. So we put up the tree, yeah, and then we decorate the tree. We put on decorations. So we put up the tree, but put on decorations. <laughs> so a few things. What do we call these? 
What are these? There are a few different words. If we can try and get them all, <laughs> then that's a bonus and I can explain them all. But yes, what do we call this? This specific one. <laughs> it's got this, it's damaged for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe I dropped it <laughs> and then it went <laughs> Love and respect from India. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so this is funny. We don't call it a ball. Okay, if you say that your tree has balls, <laughs> English people will laugh at you because it sounds a little bit rude, a little bit funny. Um, but it's a, it's a logical thing. Yeah, but we don't call them balls. No. <laughs> I don't even know that word. What's that word? Imid? I don't even know that word, so I'm gonna say no. <laughs> but I will have a look. Um. Ah, a garland. But that's French. You're writing in French, uh, Imed. We call it a garland. Spelt like this. Like this. Oh, it's in capitals. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. It's like, garland! <laughs> I'm shouting at you guys in the chat. It's not a garland. I'll talk about a garland in a moment, but um, it's not a sphere. It's not a Christmas ball. It does not have the word ball in the name. No one has got it so far. What is this? Francesca, you are so close. You're so close. It's not bubble, but you are so close. Like the pronunciation is so similar to Christmas bubble. Like it sounds like bubble. It's not a disco ball. <laughs> Can you imagine these at a disco? They wouldn't reflect anything. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> My dad helping me out here. It's a bauble. A bauble. Yeah. So many of you wrote ornament. Okay. Which is absolutely fine. <laughs> but I was looking specifically for a bauble. Yeah. Yeah. Well done for La Sushi. Exactly. It's not a bulb either. A bulb is what we put in the light. Yeah. So you have the light and you put in the bulb. Yeah. This here is a bauble. A Christmas bauble, yeah. Um, in the US, so in the United States, they call it an ornament, okay? But for us in the UK, an ornament is really general. Yeah, it's really, really general. It's any kind of small little uh, statues or figurines that go around your house. These are ornaments. Yeah, but this, there's a bauble. So we're a bit more specific in the UK. <laughs> so that was a bauble. That was the first one. Yeah. What do we call this? This one might be a bit easier. So who was it before? Francesca. So Francesca, you said Christmas bubble. So just the pronunciation, you got bubble, bauble, bubble. Bauble. You see, this one's longer. Yeah. Bauble. <laughs> like a trumpet there. Like, <laughs> Bauble. How many days do you do lessons a week? Do you have a calendar? Now, you mean on YouTube? I'm going to uh, redo my calendar for next year. Because <laughs> I will be posting more next year. I will update everyone in a video. I, I keep saying I will update people, I will update people, but I promise I will. I will update people. <laughs> mm -hmm. What do we call this? So you can see here I have a, a red one. Oh, it's falling on the floor. This as well. <laughs> and you can see my hamster. <laughs> have this. What do we call? What do we call this? This red one, we have a gold one. What do we call it? I'll give you a clue. It begins with a T. T? <laughs> that should help. Do people keep real trees too to decorate for Christmas? Yes, they do. Yes. This one is a fake one. This is a fake tree. And um, we've had this tree for 
about eight years. <laughs> um, yeah, bauble. Spell like this. Bauble. Yeah, or Christmas bauble. Like that. So Christmas bauble will be UK English, British English. Yeah, and uh, ornament will be used more in uh, the US. It's not a Christmas chain, but I do like that name, Andre. <laughs> Andre, sorry. Uh, tinsel, yes, Alan, exactly. It's tinsel. <laughs> this is tinsel. Uh, we call it tinsel. So you can see how Alan wrote it in the chat. Tinsel. Yes. At the very top, um, usually, like you can't see it here. I'll move this up here. There, right? <laughs> so usually at the very top we would put like a star or something but on our tree we don't have a star <laughs> there yeah tinsel exactly could i spell the word bauble i put it in the chat already but there's a bit of a delay so um uh sorry about that i wrote it in the chat so maybe scroll up where's the star tiago not on my tree, <laughs> that's for sure. It's not here. Um, we don't have a star, which is a bit sad. But usually, yeah, we put the star on the tree. Usually. <laughs> Can you say... I've never heard that word. We would just say freezing. It's freezing if it's really cold. Okay, another one, another riddle. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, Uh -huh. ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, this is a good one for some vocabulary, okay? I can be made from evergreens, pine cones, or berries, and I am round. On the front door of someone's house at Christmas time, I am found. What am I? Mm-hmm. <laughs> bit trickier. Bit trickier is this one. Not many people know the word for for this object, for this thing. Alessia, we're not talking about pronunciation today, so don't be offended if I don't answer your question. It's just not the topic of today's lesson. We'll do it another time. <gasps> you got it! Yeah. For learn sushi, a wreath, wreath, and Oksana as well. Perfect. Yeah, a wreath. So a wreath, we kind of say like a uh, wreath, <laughs> like this. Yeah, wreath. So the W is uh, silent. Not a Christmas crown. No, a crown would like go on your head. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's uh, how do you describe a wreath? It's like a, a circle like this and you, some people, typically like older people, not always, but like older people tend to do this. Um, they'll go to like a wreath making workshop or something and they provide all the materials like parts of trees or um, berries and things um, and you can like make your own wreath and then you typically put it on your front door but yeah we don't really have a front door so i don't make a wreath and as well i think in my city if we made a wreath it would probably get stolen <laughs> so i don't i don't want to do that <laughs> yeah made um I want to say made by flowers because if you say made by it means like the person who made it yeah who created it so it would be made by me made by a person for example no i don't know what that is jared wreath of a boomers exactly surprise you don't have a have a wreath dad why don't you go to a wreath making workshop <laughs> okay we're at um hmm, we're 50 minutes in and we've only done four riddles i've got like 200 riddles here honestly i've got a lot but i'm trying to find like some um hmm, some ones for vocabulary <laughs> let's see 
Okay. Mm. All right. Santa Claus rides on it as he gives out gifts. And to it, nine reindeer are hitched. That doesn't rhyme. <laughs> what is it? Hitched. Hitched means like uh, attached. <laughs> like attached to it. Yeah, what is it? This is more for uh, like vocabulary. What do you think? Early in the morning, Andres? <laughs> Welcome. Shaped like donuts, but made of evergreen and some decoration. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And we put them on the front door. Yeah. What's your Portuguese like? Oh, now it's like, it's like zero is my Portuguese. Because I, I haven't been practicing it since I went to Brazil. I'll be honest. I, I went to Brazil literally just before the pandemic. Um, yeah. So not 2021, but in 2020, I went to Rio de Janeiro, and then we went to uh, Uruguay, and then we went to uh, Buenos Aires in Argentina, well, Argentina, <laughs> yeah, in Argentina. So yeah, we went uh, Brazil for one week, Uruguay, and then Argentina. So a little, a little trip. Well, it wasn't little, it was a long trip. <laughs> it's like three weeks. <laughs> Is it three weeks or four? No, it was four weeks. It was a four-week trip. My God. It's not green tea. No. <laughs> Santa does not ride on green tea. Santa Claus rides on it as he gives out gifts. A sleigh! Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a sleigh. Santa and his sleigh. I'll write it in the chat as well. A sleigh. Um, we also have the word, like someone wrote it in the chat, a sledge. Um, a sledge is slightly different, maybe? I'll be honest, I don't think there is a difference between a sleigh and a sledge. No, it's literally showing the exact same pictures for sleigh and sledge. <laughs> I wonder if um, Cambridge Dictionary shows any difference. I'm only saying this because quite a few people sometimes say like, what's the difference between sleigh and sledge? <laughs> but I don't think there is any difference in terms of meaning. Oh, it says here by definition, a sleigh, a type of sledge pulled by animals, especially horses or dogs. And then for sledge, it says an object used for traveling over snow and ice with long narrow strips of wood or metal under it instead of wheels. It can be either a low frame or a vehicle like a carriage pulled by horses or dogs. And then um, it also gives this alternative spelling so it would be spelled like this in the UK. Uh, and like this in the US. Sled. <laughs> they literally write, write it like sled. Yeah, it's sledge. But um, they do pronounce it as sledge, apparently, but they write sled. That's really interesting. Why do they pronounce a D as a J? <laughs> Welcome to English! <laughs> Even natives have no idea. <laughs> but yeah, a sledge. So that's the difference. A sledge is probably smaller and made for one. That's that's how I think of a sledge. Yeah. When I think of a sledge, I think of like the ones that little kids use. And, and like they start at the top of a hill and they go down like a snowy hill. <laughs> but yeah, that's... That's what I think of a sledge. Like, when you say sledge, I think of sledge. Yeah. Uh, when you say sledge, I think of sledge. <laughs> when you say sledge, that's what I what I think of. Merry Christmas to people joining. I think the one you use... Uh, maybe? Maybe? Maybe that's a sleigh if it's used with dogs. Is it snowing in the UK? Not right now. It was raining earlier. No. 
<laughs> it's not snowing here anyway. I don't know about anywhere else. <laughs> anyway, let's do another one. I think we'll make this our final one. Hmm. <laughs> one with... Mm, no? Hmm. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> this one is really bad. That <laughs> this one is like a more of a joke. Um. Now I've said it, I'll have to say what it is. How did Frosty know he had dandruff? <laughs> Frosty is, um, like, we have a song called Frosty the Snowman, yeah? What is this? <laughs> I'm just getting, like, random bits of hair coming out. Frosty is, like, a name that we give a snowman. Like, just the name we call him, Frosty the Snowman. Um, so, how did Frosty know he had dandruff? This is a really bad joke. It's a really bad joke. Dandruff is when you get, like, a uh, white skin like the skin from your head comes off into your hair and it's like like white bits of skin in your hair my next stream will be next christmas no 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 as i said i will update everyone like probably the start of january because i i need like a, a rest honestly i know i've not been posting much on youtube but i have been so busy behind the scenes <laughs> like I've been so busy with classes and things, um, and I will just update people in a video. It, it's much easier to wait and then update everyone in a video what's been going on than it is to explain it now and then explain it in a video. Like, I will have to explain myself like 10 times. <laughs> but yeah, I'll just explain it in a video. He's melting. It's not. Yes, dandruff. Yeah. So dandruff is uh, the skin on your head that comes up into your hair. Yeah. So sometimes when your skin here on your head is very, very dry, like the skin goes in your hair and we call it dandruff. Yeah. It's a good word. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful word. <laughs> so yes. How did Frosty know he had dandruff? The Frosty and the snowman. Yeah. Dandruff is like the skin that you get in your hair. Yeah. And you need a special shampoo to remove it. Yeah. And we say the answer. No one knows. The snowflakes. But um very bad. <laughs> I told you it was a bad joke. <laughs> the snowflakes. So snowflakes are the flakes that fall down from the sky when it's snowing yeah the snow the snowflakes yeah and um the the joke is like he has dandruff he has flakes of dandruff so we say flakes of dandruff and it's like snow flakes and frosty is a snowman so he has snow flakes for dandruff <laughs> told you terrible joke J joke Terrible joke. Okay, one more. <laughs> oh, these ones are more like jokes. I'm on some riddles. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, I've got a good one here. Sorry, my nose is running. <laughs> okay. This is like a proper riddle. Okay, proper riddle. Not 100% Christmas related, but still. What usually comes once in a minute, twice in a week, and once in a year? Mm hmm. Is it that, that joke, Edward? <laughs> yeah. We say in English that if you. If you, if you tell a really bad joke, we usually say, ah, oh, it's like a dad joke. <laughs> Frosty needs a special shampoo, he does. <laughs> Poor Frosty. Usually Frosty is bald. I mean, he's made of snow. He has no hair. <laughs> he just needs a good moisturizer, I think. I mean, if you're bald, can you use shampoo? Is that... <laughs> is... 
I don't know, my boyfriend is bald and he doesn't use shampoo. Ah, <laughs> oh, you got it. You guys are too fast. Well done. So we've got Jimmy, Caloni, well done, Luis, and Terry. <laughs> Terry Boom, my dad. Still in the live stream. Dad, why are you here? Yeah, so the answer is the letter E. So the question was, what usually comes once in a minute, twice in a week, and once in a year? Minute is spelled with one E. Twice is spelled with... Uh, sorry, week is spelled with two E's. And year is spelled with one E. Yeah? So what comes once in a minute, twice in a week, once in a year? The letter E. <laughs> a dad joke is a... An uncle joke. Ah, that's interesting. They make... <laughs> Head and shoulders make shampoo for bald people. <laughs> it's just called shoulders. <laughs> that's so bad. That's such a dad joke. <laughs> so if anyone doesn't know, there's a famous brand of shampoo called head and shoulders like i know in spain people just call it hs like head and shoulders h and s but we call it head and shoulders in the uk and um yeah my dad said that there's a shampoo <laughs> for bald people <laughs> just called shoulders <coughs> that's terrible <coughs> terrible Get out of my stream. <laughs> Leave right now. That is a dad joke. That was really funny. Thank you. It was so good. It's, it triggered my cough. <laughs> I've been repressing this cough the entire stream. If you're bald and need scones. If you're bald, you need sunscreen. <laughs> you guys are so mean about bald people. I'm, I'm going to get cancelled. <laughs> it's like some bald guy's going to watch this live stream. <laughs> I'd be like, I cannot believe this English teacher is saying such horrible things about bald people. And then I get like cancelled. <laughs> I just get cancelled on Twitter. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> ah, it's so bad. Should we do one more riddle? We're already over time. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, this is a bad one. This is more of a joke than a riddle, but it's the final one. Okay, final one. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry, I was just reading a comment. Oh, oh, it's another joke with Roy. <laughs> Put your coat on, dear. Why? Are you taking me out? No, I'm turning the heating off whilst I go to the pub. That's so weird. <laughs> what does bald mean when you have no hair? Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Just put my microphone. You got no hair. You are bald. Exactly. Yeah, that's it. Head and shoulders. H and S means head and shoulders. I've been living in the ignorance. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny because my, you know, my boyfriend is Spanish, right? <laughs> like when we first start head and throat. Sorry, I can't. Come on, this is so funny. You're bald phobic. We are bald phobic in this stream. <laughs> My boyfriend is bald. I can't. Uh, is bald. Sorry. My boyfriend is bald. I can't be bald phobic. Um, oh, I wanted to say something. What was it? Oh, yeah, that was it. Yeah, my boyfriend, like when we first met each other, um, he, he said something like, um, like, I, I stayed at his parents' house, and his parents had um, uh, some uh, head and shoulders shampoo. <coughs> and my boyfriend said, like, oh, you can use this uh, H&S shampoo. And I was like, H&S? What's that? I've never heard of that brand. He's like, it's a really famous brand of shampoo. What? Like, you know, for deodorant? Like, <laughs> H&S? I was like... H&S? I'm sorry, I've never heard of it. Anyway, I went for a shower. I saw the bottle and it said H&S, right? B 
but it stands for head and shoulders. And in the UK, we never call it H and S. We always call it head and shoulders, even though it does have H and S on it. <laughs> but yeah, it stands for head and shoulders. If you're not sure what shoulders are. <laughs> you're late by one hour, you are. Anyway, yes. Final, final one, final one. Okay, then we'll finish at 10 past. Who says, oh, oh, oh? Who says, oh, oh, oh? <laughs> I wrote it in the chat. <coughs> I'm still coughing from my dad's stupid joke. Who says, oh, oh, oh? I'm called out for bald phobia. There's no alcohol, it's tea. <laughs> It's just tea. <laughs> oh, you guys are so funny. Yeah, I really, I really miss doing YouTube live streams. Honestly, people, people on YouTube make me laugh so much. I love live streaming on Twitch, and and YouTube. Like these, these are the two two places I love doing live streams. Santa, okay. I'm not going to <laughs> your ex. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm not going to accept Santa as the answer, but you are very close. It's not ever Santa. <laughs> okay, Renato. Renato Barros, you are very close. You are very close. It's not your girlfriend. Eduardo. Eduardo, I'm going to accept your answer, but it is not the answer I was looking for. It's... <laughs> is it the answer I expected? No. Is it the answer I got? Yes. It's <laughs> usually what I say in live streams on Twitch. Is it what I expected? No. Is it what I wanted? <laughs> Still no. Um, <laughs> so the question was, who says oh, oh, oh? And the answer was... Santa walking backwards. <laughs> so you were very close with the moonwalk. Very close. <laughs> the question was, who says oh, oh, oh? And the answer was Santa walking backwards. <laughs> but yes. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's my mum messaging. What'd she say? Oh, my present is very close. I'll have to end the live stream soon because I, I <laughs> don't want to be like, I've got to go get a parcel in the middle of a live stream. Uh, you look like my girlfriend. Is that a good thing? Hopefully your girlfriend's pretty. <laughs> so yeah, in, in English we say, uh, Santa, he says, ho, ho, ho. Like, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Like this, yeah? Um... But yes, we put it backwards, like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so Santa walking backwards. I want to show you guys one thing before we finish today, okay? We've got two minutes. I want two minutes of your time, okay? <laughs> better luck next time with the joke. That's it. That's a dad joke. It was better. Yours was better, dad. It was. Um, <laughs> my dad tried to steal my thunder. This is a good expression, to steal someone's thunder, okay? To steal someone's thunder is an idiom, meaning when somebody else tries to take the spotlight or tries to take the credit away from the person it should go to. <laughs> and it, they, they steal your, your spotlight, they steal your credit. So final thing, I want, uh, oh, now only one minute, okay? I want one minute of your time. I want to show you something because someone uh, asked me about this and I want to talk about it uh, before I finish because I haven't had the chance to mention it. Not sponsored, <laughs> but um, these are mince pies, okay? Mince pies, this picture is perfect because you can see what's inside, okay? So these are very, very, very typical at Christmas time in the UK, all right? Um, mince pies, nothing to do with minced meat, right? This is something very important. So minced meat, oops, is with a ground, uh, ground meat. Um, so minced meat, you take some meat, you put it in a machine, you turn it, and it comes out like uh, little sausages, let's say. 
and it's like a uh, meat, like from an animal, right? But these are with mince meat. Okay. Uh, like lots of uh, fruits, fruit together. Okay. So these are filled with mince meat, not minced meat, mince meat, right? <laughs> Very annoyingly similar. <laughs> But the mincemeat inside, which contains no meat, right? It is uh, vegan, actually. <laughs> um, the pastry might not be vegan because it might have butter, but they are at least vegetarian, usually, okay? There is no animal. So inside you have mincemeat, and as you can see, it's like different fruit inside. Yeah, so you've got raisins, you've got bits of apple, you've got bits of everything. Yeah, just like different fruit, okay? No animal, no meat. I keep saying that because someone always is like, oh, meat like a cow or whatever. No, no, <laughs> no meat, <laughs> but they are called, but this filling is called mincemeat, okay? Um, and we eat these at Christmas time in the UK. They are very, very popular. If you are in the UK now, you can go to any supermarket and they will have loads of them, okay? Um, I'll show you one. This is a very fancy one. Mm. I love the smell of them. Mm. There's this one. So this is what it looks like. You can see. Um, so yes, and then you just Eat it. <laughs> Eat it with a cup of tea or some Baileys or something. <laughs> but yes, is Tehran vegan? Tehran is not English, Dad. Tehran is uh, Spanish. <laughs> it's, um, uh, it depends. Some Tehran is not vegan. But yeah, it's not an English thing. I don't want to uh, confuse people and let them wonder, what is Tehran? <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, final questions. Why is it called minced meat if there's no meat inside? No idea. I don't know. I don't know the historical reason for it. I'll be honest. No clue. <laughs> First time I've had them surprised to hear uh, the crunch or something sweet. Hmm, they shouldn't be crunchy, but they should be crumbly. So when you bite them, they like fall apart. <laughs> They're very messy. Very messy. Would you please give me... I'm so happy and hungry. Oh, would I give you one? Of course. <laughs> Of course, if you're here. If you're not in the UK, you can very easily make them, but it might be a pain to try and make the mince meat, not minced meat, mince meat that goes inside. Anyway, guys, I am going to have to go because uh, I've got a parcel arriving in literally 15 minutes and I better go uh, wait at the door <laughs> for that. <laughs> so thank you very much for joining today's live stream. I will post a video up very soon. I think it will probably be like in January, like the start of January, um, updating on where I've been, what I've been doing, why I've been missing, why I haven't been posting much. Um, I'm still alive. <laughs> I'm not dead and so on. But um, yeah, I'll just update you so you know exactly what's going on and what the plan is for next year. Um, but yes. Thank you for coming. I hope you've enjoyed today's uh, live stream. You've learned some new vocabulary. You've learned some little bits about uh, culture and Christmas in the UK. Have a Merry Christmas if you celebrate it tomorrow. If you don't celebrate Christmas, then I hope you have a wonderful day anyway. And I will see you all very soon. Thank you for joining. See you later. Bye bye.